and on the Committee on the Order of Business for a report. And so, um, Dr. Greenway, if you will come and give that. Thank you, Mr. President. Committee on Order of Business brings this report regarding the disposition of some of the motions made during times for miscellaneous business earlier today. The committee has determined that the following motions deal with the internal operations or ministries of convention entities. Under SBC Bylaw 26B, these motions are automatically referred to the appropriate SBC entities or the Executive Committee for consideration and report back to the 2020 Southern Baptist Convention. To all SBC entities, Philip Bethencourt, Tennessee, motion to request each SBC entity to provide an update on addressing abuse. To the Executive Committee, Brent Epling from North Carolina, motion to add to the SBC calendar of activities a day of prayer for the persecuted church. Aaron Collier, New Mexico, Motion to ask the Executive Committee to devise a plan for churches to request funding for investigating sexual abuse. Robert Anderson, Maryland, to add to the SBC calendar of activities a George Lyle Missions and Evangelism Day. To the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission, David Haynes, Alabama, motion to request the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission to study the effects of birth control methods. To the North American Mission Board, David Hobson, Alabama, motion to study North American Mission Board funding for staff in small churches. Under the convention's rules, these motions are referred as indicated by the Committee on the Order of Business. It is the Convention's long-standing practice to refer to complex motions, including motions which affect the Constitution or bylaws, to the Executive Committee for its consideration. On behalf of the Committee on Order of Business, I move that the following motions be referred to the Executive Committee of the Southern Baptist Convention for consideration and report back to the 2020 Southern Baptist Convention. Brad Cohn, Georgia. Motion to ask Executive Committee to modernize the nomination process for convention committees and boards. Leroy Fountain, Louisiana. Motion to have the Executive Committee give a progress report on the adopted 2011 recommendations promoting diversity. Morris Chapman, Tennessee. Motion to request the Executive Committee to amend the business and financial plan to strengthen the fiscal accountability of entities. Matt Dunn, Missouri. Motion to amend the Baptist faith and message regarding Israel. And Dennis Golden, Tennessee. Motion to amend the SBC Constitution and bylaws to allow distance voting for SBC officers. Okay, you have heard this motion to refer from the Committee on the Order of Business. Is there any discussion? I understand Dr. Morris Chapman at microphone number three uh, would request to speak to the issue of the referral of his motion. Dr. Chapman. Dr. Adam, we appreciate so very much the opportunity to make these few comments about the motion which I made this morning. And I want to thank you for this moment of personal privilege. My motion is very simple. It asks the executive committee to examine our current policies to see where Southern Baptists may improve our financial accountability and transparent. I was thrilled a moment ago as I watched the emphasis upon foreign missions. We've got a great mission for, uh, force around the world and how strongly we're able to support them with our gifts and loves and our prayers. But we, all, we also expect them to be honest in their reporting back home. And it is our desire that we who are administrators and executives and working throughout the entities of the Southern Baptist Convention be just as trust trustworthy and as honest as those who are serving in the field giving a report to us. My motion asks the executive committee to examine these policies we have to see where Southern Baptists may improve our financial accountability and transparency. It is built upon two biblical commitments First, Southern Baptists believe that the Lord's work is done best when it is done by the word of the Lord. And second, we believe the Lord's work is done best when it is done in the light of day. 
This year, the light has shined on our cooperative work in ways that have revealed our need for reform. I'm thankful for the work of our new Executive Committee President, Ronnie Floyd, is already doing in just a few short weeks to bring about needed reforms. And yet we cannot stop there. By the power of God, we must use this opportunity of self-examination to make sure that everything we are doing for the Lord is with integrity, accountability, and transparency. One day, my fellow Southern Baptist, we will give an account to the Lord Jesus for what we have done with vast resources he's given us. Let us covenant together today that we will stand before him confident we have been good stewards of his kingdom. May God help us. Thank you, Dr. Chapman. The question is on the motion to refer from the Committee on the Order of Business. If you are in favor of referring these motions, please raise your ballots. Okay, and you may lower them. If you are opposed to the motion to refer, please raise your ballots. And the affirmative has it, the motion has carried and the motions are referred to the executive committee. On behalf of the Committee on Order of Business, I move that the following motion be referred to the Committee on Order of Business. Sarah Gregory, Idaho. Motion to add to the 2020 Annual Meeting Program a segment honoring the Baptist faith and message. You have heard this motion to refer from the Committee on the Order of Business. Is there any discussion? 3A, if they wish to speak to this motion. 3A, microphone, do you wish to speak to this motion? Okay. All right, the question is on the motion to refer this from the, uh, from the Committee on the Order of Business. If you are in favor of referring this motion, please raise your ballots. You may lower them. If you are opposed to this motion to refer, please raise your ballots. Okay, the affirmative has it, and the motion has carried, and the motion is referred. The Committee on Order of Business recommends that the Chair rule the following motions are not in order. Wade Burleson, Oklahoma. Motion to amend the International Mission Board's written report to the Convention. In order for the Convention to accomplish what the motion requires, the Convention would have to take control of records which belong to the International Mission Board and publish those records as part of an IMB report without the action or consent of the IMB's Board of Trustees. The power to take such an action is vested only in the IMB's board under both state law and the convention's instruments. Adam Blosser, Virginia. Motion to amend bylaw 18 to cause the recording secretary to be a non-voting member of the executive committee. The motion would violate Tennessee law. Under corporation laws which apply to the executive committee, a person cannot be a member of the board and be deprived of the right to vote. So the chair rules that the motions are not in order for the reasons that are given. Okay, microphone 4A, can you state why you are seeking recognition? I think we have some. Yeah, Jim Gregory, I just have a question. I wasn't sure on my wife's motion if, uh, if you stated the whole motion or just the essence of the motion. Uh, Brother Gregory, when uh, the chair of the Committee on Order of Business is stating back the motions in terms of informing the convention about recommended disposition, there's generally just a brief summary in terms of what the intent of the motion is because the full text of the motion is of course recorded in the convention's official instruments after the meeting. 
That's all I needed to hear. Thank you. Ask microphone 3A to state uh, his point of order. Okay, microphone 3A, if you will state your point of order. Yes, sir, Mr. President, I appreciate the recognition. I realize that there are some issues that are extremely complicated, but I would like to appeal the chair's ruling on my motion to make part of the official record the Gray Plant Moody preliminary investigation summary for this convention. And the reason I would like to appeal the chair is because it is the convention's report, not the IMB's report. This convention, I believe, needs to have the official record in our report because it's an excellent summary of the work the IMB needs to do. If it's not in the report, it is not in the archive for future generations. It is already public. I'm requesting an appeal to the chair because it is our decision whether or not our report has this excellent summary in it. Pastor Burleson, I um, share your, I understand your concern, and uh, I certainly I think people have heard you. I have been advised by the convention's legal counsel that that motion would require the convention to take an action that is beyond the bounds of its authority under the law. Uh, therefore, this is not a ruling that is, is eligible for appeal. And so the point of order is not well taken. Uh, microphone 4B, does your motion refer to the Committee on the Order of Business Report? Sorry, that was an accident. All right. <laughs> then we're, All right, well, we will let you call a mulligan on that one. We're, we're ready to go to the uh, Executive Committee. We're on Agent B there. Oh, hang on. We have one. Uh, Adam, one more left. And this completes the report of the Committee on Order of Business at this time.